Hey world, it's Linda. It's Friday night, and this is So What's New and Yarn Too. So, what's exciting this week? Well, I was really bad, and I decided to do a mystery box. So here is said mystery box. It came yesterday, and it's all batiks, and they are all pre-cuts. So I got to show it to you. And here's my box. And I just am so kind of excited. I haven't opened it really. And these are all from Island Boutique. And I got to say, I had a block of the month from Island Boutique last year. And it was actually quite, the fabric was really wonderful. I enjoyed sewing with it. Not all batiks are fun to sew with. Anyway, this is, uh, I, there, there's not many duplicates in this group. So this is interesting. So these are two and a half inch strips. All very uh, African looking. And then some bright Caribbean ties numbers here. Bright, colorful. What else have we got? Oh, boy. Ooh. Beehive fuzz. Where are the bees? Does anybody see bees? I don't see bees. But it's all yellow and, um, and black batiks. All right. What else have we got? woo -hoo! And this one is called Positively Pink. And this is for uh, the um, uh, breast cancer, it looks like. You can use these or, because there's the ribbons. Yeah, okay. And now this one is <laughs> nightshade. So I'm moving them out of the way. This is stacking up here. And here's a bunch of uh, ones with Oh, look at uh, dots in between some other colors. So you've got the, the, the dots and then some blenders to go with it. Very nice. And then this one's called Tranquility. Oh, yeah. These are kind of a new group of colors we're seeing lately, aren't we? Uh, pale greens, the pinks. That's very soothing. Yes. And, ugh! Oh! And out of the mystery box comes <gasps> Harvest Night. Oh, yes, you can start now thinking about Thanksgiving. <sighs> I just had to order Thanksgiving fabric. I know. It, it's amazing what they expect us to think about. We just got over Christmas. All right, this one's bee kind. So where are the bees? Is that a bee? Maybe that is a bee. Hard to tell. And would it go with the beehive buzz? Oh, maybe those are the same. Hmm, can't tell for sure. And then let's see what else we have. Oh, tons of these. Oh, this tranquility is, we had this one already, right? Yes. So we have two tranquilities. As you see, this mystery box is all whatever. Oh, Simply Southwest. It's not, it's greens and browns. Come on, this is fall. Perfect for us here. All right, and what else have we got? <laughs> oh, we have two of these last ones. Ah, I like the turquoise. This one is called Paisley Got Mod. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, I see. The dots are bigger and they, yeah, oh, I'm liking this color combination a lot. You see, it takes somebody's job to put these all together. Wouldn't that be a wonderful job to have? Anyway, then moving down. Oh, we have two of, oh, this one got opened. Oh, I wonder what we'll do with this open one. I, I, I guess I could. Oh, I wonder if I could use that. Mm. Or we could put it in the 50% off. Now, the rest of these are all layer cake 
tile styles. And what I love about Island Batik is the way they package these. You can see all of the constituents of the package and it still stays beautifully wrapped. This one's called Vintage Lace. Wow, all right, that one's vintage lace. Ooh, this is stunning. This one's called, this one's called, this one's called Harvest Night. Harvest Night. Okay, oranges. Sorry about that, but you know. yeah. All right, that's Harvest Night. We're running out of room. This one is called, oh, this is Tranquility, again, but in 10 yard, in ten inch squares, which you can make out of this a huge charm pack. And this one is another Tranquility. Sorry, guys. And this is another Harvest Night. Oh, I've got some duplicates. Simply Southwest. Oh, you can see it better are bigger here in the 10 inch squares. Oh, there's a cacti. Okay, now I can see the Southwest. The cacti has arrived. But nothing else looks cactish. Well, might be a Coco Paley type design there. Running deer. Paisley got mod. Wow, really is super. I like this Paisley got mod. All right, but you know me, I'm bright. Oh, here's our friend. This is the uh, Beehive Buzz. Wahoo. There was a, a point we had a lot of yellow and black, but people are blend gone away. But that doesn't mean you can't use pieces of this or throw in a couple of other colors. And I wonder what would really look good. You know, you think right away greens, but you could go with maybe a pink. That would take some experimenting. Or blue. Yeah. How about a blue? Ah, and here is the positively pink in 10-inch square layer cake. And, oh, this is a different one. Pumpkin spice. Ooh, I like the purple one piece. And... There are the contestants. Okay, so that is my mess of a uh, <laughs> a uh, secret box or mystery box. So what to do with this mystery box? Guess what, guys? Moda has a challenge, and it's called the uh, Love. And it's a, a Moda Love, and it's a charm quilt. Very easy. All there are, if you look real hard, you can see they're all half square triangles. And they're five inch squares, so you would be cutting some and some you wouldn't. And just think about this pattern. They did a challenge, I, but we didn't make it in time. This, uh, we've got two. I, I can just see with all the creams that you could. And here's a purple in all these gradations, charm packs, that would be very nice. This uses one charm pack and it works up to 32 by 32. And you would use a yard for the background. So the white is the background and all the black or darkened stuff is your, uh, charm pack pieces. So with one yard, whoa, you've got the whole thing. Oh, and then we've got some free spirit. Uh, is this cave? Mostly cave? Doesn't say, yeah. It's cave classic. So we have some interesting, I, this would be probably fun. And if you need something to, uh, if you just want to be basic and maybe use your stash against some whites, we have whites and blacks in uh, of um, the uh, Moda, or of the charm packs. Whew. Is it late in the day? It is. 
So, something to do with the charm packs. Maybe you've purchased a few and you just don't know what you're going to do. Okay, there you go. You can play a 32 by 32. Great uh, donation quilt. Although they like to have them like 36 by 48, you could make it uh, bigger easily with uh, borders. We love borders. Slab a border, I think, is the phrase that some people use. Now, for the announcements of what's coming up, besides my 20th anniversary, April 1st, we are starting in February a intermediate block of the month. This one's called a cog in the wheel. And all of these are eight inch hexagons and putting them together. In other words, this is, uh, yeah, 12 months. You would make, for example, you see this green one? There are, in one month, you'd make one, two, three, four, five. And there's some other very interesting smaller ones that should be quite fun to try. So check it. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, that one will take a little work, huh? Eight inches and working in a hexagon. So you'd be using a 60-inch uh, degree uh, ruler, triangle ruler, ruler. Anyway, that is the plan for February. <laughs> the Cathy's voted and decided on this as being an interesting thing to do. Notice, now remember, with the uh, block of the month, you do two yards, you get two yards for the uh, included in the sign-up, and this background here takes exactly two yards. So this could be fun for all your scraps, because nothing is big. And then we will have a uh, a Saturday sampler that I'm also planning on. And as soon as I get a, my self together on that one, we will start that. So that's all the news. Lots of fun, batik uh, pre-cuts and a block of the month and a charm quilt that you could do with your charm packs. Or you could take one of these layer cakes Cut it in half and half. You know, you get four charms from one layer cake piece. So things to think about, especially if you like it. And I wonder if you could make it bigger. I wonder what happens if you use... Never mind. Don't wonder, Linda. <laughs> get yourself into trouble. All right, guys, it's good talking to you. And letting you know what's happening at So What's New and Yarn 2. Until we meet again. Have a good weekend. It was a nice day today. Bye-bye. From So... And remember, any fabrics you see, check on www.sowhatsnew.biz or com. And you can order whatever you want. We will ship. Or we'll hold it for you to pick up when you're ready to come and get it. And all of these will be available as soon as I get them into the system. <laughs> okay. Till then, take care. Bye now.